No one clicks on the video. They don't watch. The point of the thumbnail is to create a journey from the thumbnail to even the high quality images are crucial. Add some intrigue. And make people want to know what happens next. Doesn't make any sense. Doesn't we need it? to make better thumbnails. Well today, I'll be teaching you how to make Minecraft thumbnails. Let's get started. Download mods from the description down below. Launch your Minecraft and create a new world. Watch closely because I will show you the best settings for thumbnail creation. Creative mode, flat world, structures off, all mobs off, fire, weather, and day cycle off. Now let's get cooking. Type slash time set 10,000 for best light. Open your inventory and click this button to get your NPC tools. Right now we are going to use only NPC wand. Click anywhere on the ground and this window will appear. There are three tabs here. The first tab is for NPC adjustments like skins, name tags, capes, moving full NPC, turning it into different mobs and much more. The second tab is for moving different body parts. Well, it is pretty self-explanatory. Lastly, the third tab is for interactions with the NPC's inventory, giving it stuff to hold, adding armor, etc. You could try playing around with each of these tabs and what they do, but I don't have time to go so deep into this mod. But if you want a video about it, we need to hit at least 100 subs. While creating an NPC, we will mostly use the second tab. I like to move all the NPC's body parts to make the final thumbnail look more alive. After you position your NPC to your liking, you can add terrain around it and take a screenshot. But first, get the shader and the settings file to make your end product look better. Go into 30FOV and find a good position to take your screenshot. Press F7 and click X4 for best quality. Wait a little for your shot to render. After it loaded, we can finally start adjusting your thumbnail and adding effects. Photoshop! Photoshop, baby! Yay! Photoshop, baby! What you wanna do is open up Photoshop. You're gonna click it. Yeah, you're gonna- Why are we still here? Once it's loaded up, you're gonna click Create New. Hey, you still with me? You still- Are you still with me? Keep up. Next, you're gonna head over to Film and Video. Then you're gonna find HDTV 1080p. Just trust me that 1080p is the one you wanna select. Alright, let's lay the ground rules. Control and minus, and then Control and plus. That zooms out and zooms in. You're gonna be using that all the time. Control and H to get rid of these blue bars if you've got them showing already. And straight away, we're ready to begin. Now find the Minecraft screenshot folder and drag two of these renders into Photoshop. Scale them to your liking. Pro tip. A lot of people watch YouTube from their phones, and your beautiful thumbnail might not look as good on a small screen. Tip number two, YouTube puts a timer in a corner of your video, so don't put anything important there. It might not be seen. Now choose our character layer and apply camera raw filter. Play around with the settings or you can do something similar to mine. Make the player a little brighter, contrasty, and colorful. Copy the same effect on the background, but make sure to lower the opacity of each to make our character pop out more. Use a color wheel to find the best colors for your composition. Pro tip, you should not have more than three main objects on your thumbnail. Create a new layer on top of everything. Click B or press here to get the brush tool. Resize it using the Alt key. Move your mouse right and left and adjust hardness by holding Alt key. But move the mouse up and down. Pick a black color and draw a line at the bottom of the screen. Then lower the opacity. This is going to give our thumbnail a little more depth. Pit stop. I've spent a lot of time learning thumbnails and editing this video. If you became better or just started making thumbnails after this video, please consider subscribing and sharing this video with others. Thank you. Now we can add shadows. I'll leave a link to Google Drive with all the assets that I use for thumbnails. Lower opacity of them suiting your situation. We can add a little blur to the background by clicking filters, blur, gaussian blur, adjust to your liking. Let's get back to our character. Right click his layer two times and the layer style window will appear. Add a little drop shadow and you can copy my settings or use your own. Inner glow? Yes. But also make it suit your situation. I sometimes use a little bit of a bevel effect to make the character more appealing. You can add outer glow on the player by clicking here or drawing it with a brush. For the first method, I usually use these settings. And for the second method, just copy what I am doing right now. Add a new layer, take your brush tool, and lower the opacity and flow. Make a brush a little bit bigger than your character like this. Now draw over the area where the outer glow should be added. Change blending mods and see which one looks the best. Lower the opacity of the layer if needed. I think my thumbnail looks a bit plain, so let's add some text. Click T on your keyboard, select a font that you like, choose a good color over here, and type what you want. Click the check mark icon, and now press CTRLT to resize it. 
You can put it in front of your character or behind. Now let's make our text look better. Select layer, layer style, drop shadow. I usually have it on size and distance only. Now add gradients overlay. If you want your text to be certain color, create your own gradient like this. But Photoshop has many presets that you can use. I like my gray one. Also, play with the bevel effect if you want. It makes the text look more 3D. Add outer glow. I explained how to add it before. Rewatch that part if you need it. But as usual, these are my preferred settings. I use them most of the time, but not always. After you think you have it finished, save your thumbnail as a PSD file, then combine all layers like this and add a camera raw filter. I usually just click random things and try everything out until my thumbnail looks good. And wow, we just made a good looking eye catching and just beautiful masterpiece thumbnail. Congratulations, you made it until the end. Thank you for watching and see you next time. By the way, if you are interested, you can always DM me for thumbnail commissions. Advertisement. Were you ever in need of thumbnail or editing assets? Well, I found a perfect solution for you. Creator Coaster, the best free assets for everyone. Fonts, PNGs, icons, images, themes, GIFs, presets, green screens, and so much more. Make sure to join.